Reading is awesome. And this book that we're going to read today is pretty awesome too. It's called How Rocket Learned to Read. And it's written by Tad Hills. Isn't that fun? A book about a dog named Rocket who learns to read. So cool because we know reading is awesome. Rocket loved to play. He loved to chase leaves and chew sticks. He loved to listen to the birds sing. Rocket is pretty cute. Every fall morning after chasing leaves, Rocket would lie down in his favorite spot under his favorite tree. There he'd sniff the neighborhood smells and settle in for a good nap. But one day, a little yellow bird startled Rocket. Aha, my first student. Wonderful, she sang. Rocket was confused. Student? I'm not a... But if I am your teacher, the bird interrupted, then you must be my student. Rocket found it hard to argue with this bird. I am so glad you saw my sign, the bird chirped. Oh yes, I can see it, Rocket said, but I don't know how to read. Hmm. Rocket can't read it, but I can. It says, class starts today. Can't read? Fantastic! She waved a wing. Welcome to my classroom. But I just came here to nap, Rocket said. No, no. There will be no napping in class, declared the bird. Except, of course, during nap time. Well then, I can take a nap over here, said Rocket. I've had a very busy morning. Not to worry, I'll be around every day, chirped the bird, until the weather turns. As Rocket breathed in the crisp air, the little yellow bird hung her banner. Ah, the wondrous, mighty, gorgeous alphabet, she marveled, where it all begins. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. The alphabet, the gorgeous alphabet. Opening up a book, the bird began to read. She sang out the story of an unlucky dog named Buster, who lost his favorite bone. A cool breeze carried her lovely voice across the yard. At first, Rocket was disturbed. Oh, there she is in the tree. And there's Rocket listening to the story about Buster, the unlucky dog who lost his bone. But before long, he found himself captivated. To Rocket, the story was as delicious as the earthy smells of fall. It was as exciting as chasing leaves. He closed his eyes and listened to every word. As Buster dug and dug under the lilac bush, the bird read, he felt something familiar. Rocket waited. Was it the bone? He wondered. Silence. Was it the bone? He called to the bird. More silence. Was it the bone? Rocket hollered. Suddenly, he was rushing to the tree. Well, was it? 
but the little yellow bird was gone. The next morning, Rocket arrived early. At last, the yellow bird arrived. Hello, how wonderful to see you in class, she chirped. I can tell by your wagging tail that you are well rested. I'd like to hear the end of the story, please, said Rocket. That seems like a fine way to start the day, chirped the bird. She gave Rocket a name tag and began to read. Oh, do you see Rocket's name tag on his collar? It says Rocket. Every day, Rocket returned to the little yellow bird's classroom. In the morning, the bird taught him a new letter. Until he had learned all of the wondrous, mighty, gorgeous alphabet. Hmm, did you notice on the chalkboard, the butterfly? It starts with the letter B. And in the leaves, leaves starts with the letter L. And there's a letter L made out of leaves. And then the teacher's holding a worm for the letter W. Together, they sang out the sounds that each letter makes and spelled the sounds they heard around them. With a G and many R's, they spelled Mr. Barker's growl. They spelled the sound of the wind, which was growing colder by the day. Whoosh! Soon they were spelling words like F-A-L-L, fall, for the gusty time of year, and R-E-D, red, for the color of the leaves. And each afternoon, the bird read a story. She read stories about dogs and birds and read about leaves changing colors and about birds flying south for the winter. Did you know not all birds fly south for the winter, but many kinds of ducks and geese do? Then one day, the weather turned and the letter banner disappeared. See you again in the glorious spring, the bird sang. And as she flew into the wintry sky, she called, Don't forget, words are built one letter at a time. Hmm, that's good advice. Words are built one letter at a time. The days grew shorter and the leaves fell from the trees. The grass became crunchy. Soon Rocket's classroom disappeared under the snow. He remembered the little yellow bird's alphabet and he practiced his letters. Hmm, can you say out loud the letters that Rocket made in the snow? Let's see, the first one is a, that's right. B, yes. C, you're so smart. Rocket thought about the bird's sweet chirp while he sounded out words like D, I, G, D, I, G, D, I, G, dig, and w, um, n, d. Wind. Wind. W-I-N-D spells wind. And cold. Cold. C-O-L-D spells cold. Cold. He made new friends and spelled their names. Hello, E-M-M-A, Emma. Hi there, F-R-E-D, Fred. He spelled everything. Sun. Sun. 
melt, melt, melt. Oh, the snow is melting. When rocket spelled M U D M U D mud mud, he knew that spring, as it always does, had returned. The breeze blew warmer, the grass grew greener, and a sign appeared. Hmm, look at that sign. Early the next morning. Rocket rushed to his classroom. As he waited, he spelled W A G W A G Wag. Soon the little yellow bird arrived. Aha! My star student, she sang. How wonderful to see you! I can tell by your wagging tail that you are ready for class. Then together they began to read. They read stories about birds flying north in the spring. They read books about picnics and the warm sun. And they read about Buster, the lucky dog who found his bone under the lilac bush. And when they were done, they read it again, and again. And again, oh! I can imagine that Rocket loves hearing that story about Buster, Buster losing his bone and then finding his bone. But you know what I loved? I loved reading this book about Rocket learning to read with you, because you are awesome. And you know what else is awesome? Reading, reading, is. Awesome.